Welcome to the Bella Vista Gardening Program. I am Jerry Horner and today with me is Linda Niemeyer. She's a fellow member of the Bella Vista Garden Club. She's president of the Florelia Rangers Guild Garden Club and a Benton County Master Gardener. So I welcome her today and today we're going to be talking about uh, the coming, upcoming flower show that the Bella Vista Garden Club is going to sponsor and um, what to do in your garden, upcoming events, things like we usually cover. But Linda's here to tell us all about this wonderful flower show. But first I want to tell you uh, about, um, share with you this information that the Bella Vista Garden Club has received two national awards. Again, we keep getting a national awards, which is great. Um, one for our garden party we had in 2018, and there was a lot of people there. It was a big event. It was a big event. And we won the national award for the prior one, too. But this we won another, won another national award for that. And that's uh, to celebrate National Garden Week and Bella Vista Garden Week that our mayor, Christy, proclaims. And uh, so that's the first full week of June. And we won that. And then we also won a national award for the work we do at the Bella Vista Memorial Garden Cemetery. So um, we do a lot of work there, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful cemetery. It really so, is. And uh, so we really want to thank all of our dedicated volunteers that, that uh, make these awards possible. So that's, that's the good news. So, but today we want to talk about our flower show. And this new flower show is called Autumn, no, Ozark Autumn Memories. Yes. And we haven't had one for a long time. Jerry and I have worked on flower shows together for <laughs> probably close to 15 years, yeah. Yeah. but it's been seven and a half years since our last show. I can't believe that. Which we used to have more, and times sort of have changed, mm -hmm. but we think that this is a special flower show. We've waited this long. We put in a lot of preparation. I think mm -hmm. it's going to turn out to be something that people will really enjoy. Yeah, I think it's going to be a wonderful flower show. And the, the location is going to be at NWAC. It's a new college. building this time, and we thought it might be a little more easy for people to find and be on their way, uh, stop in when they're going on their errands mm -hmm. that day. It'll be October 1st, which is a Tuesday, and it will be in the Shoemaker Center for Workforce Technologies, which is a long right. name, but you can't forget which building it is that yeah. way. Well, they have s several shoemaker buildings, so and we'll have some signage yeah. up with our logo, the, <coughs> the Bella Vista Garden Club logo with some arrows to show you which way to go. So we'll have some signage up so you can find it. So um, the last show was held in 2012. I can't believe that. It was. So, but anyway, it's going to be open to the public on October 1st from 9 to 3. Yes. And there's no charge, so everyone's mm -hmm. welcome. Right. And they can just come and visit as long as they'd like. There'll be some people there to uh, help you uh, find your way around the exhibits, mm -hmm. and there'll be brochures explaining the exhibits uh -huh. so you can get a little detail about what yeah. each thing uh, really is supposed to be entered as. Okay. So actually, it's set up on Monday. Yes. And then it's judged on Monday. Monday by afternoon. By accredited AFGC judges. Yes. And, um, the uh, horticulture can be brought in by anyone, right? Yes. Uh, horticulture is open to any amateur grower. Uh, the other exhibits are open to members of the Bella Vista Garden Club or neighboring garden clubs mm -hmm. in the Northwest District. I do believe we expect some uh, entries from the Garden Club of Rogers. Mm -hmm. And in the photography division, we're also inviting the Bentonville Bella Vista Photography Club to submit entries in photography. And now and that's, that's a new category that's a new, for us. A new, uh, new one this year. Mm -hmm. There's three different classes. Um, there's a single view of a garden. There's um, a view of Mother Nature's garden, which uh -huh. pertains more to conservation, ecology efforts, um, butterfly preservation, and other wildlife areas. And then there's a series of three, which we hope people will uh, really enjoy that could be um, different times in your garden, maybe different visitors in your garden, different types of butterflies, uh, your pets, your grandchildren, <laughs> uh, cities you visited gardens in. So there's really a lot of options 
for that series of three. And, series of three. And, and that's open to the, the other photography that's club great. members too. Now we do have um, some pictures of the uh, prior flower shows that we can show you. And so you give you a better idea. If you've never been to a flower show before, you don't yes. know what to expect. So this is uh, one of our flower shows and it shows the horticulture. We have a lot of horticulture. And it shows you that, you know, you take a, a branch of something or a flower. Um, this is, all grows here in our area. And they're easy to bring in. We mm -hmm. furnish the uh, vases for mm -hmm. you. So people can just uh, make the cutting and right. bring in the identification. Right. And we'll stage them for you. And there are branches of, of shrubs. There's flowers. There's leaves. There's a lot of categories of, there really of are. horticulture. So whatever you're growing in your garden, you can find a category to put it in for our flower Well, and show. with the recent storm, we have cut arboreal specimens. <laughs> so if you had any downed tree limbs, just put that in water for a while <laughs> yeah. and bring it in. You might be able to preserve some of that yes. damaged wood. Yes. So, but you can see there's just flowers. Now, this was in the spring, but you still yes. have a lot of things blooming in the fall. You could have um, uh, mums, um, you know, things that goldenrod starting to bloom. There's just a lot of things blooming. If you go out in your garden in the in the fall, you'd be amazed how many blooms and how many things you can bring in for horticulture and all the shrubs, the evergreens. And some of so. the leaves that are turning color would be mm -hmm. beautiful to yes, bring in. Yes, fall colored leaves. Um, you know, butterfly bushes will probably still be blooming. Um, some of the phlox still blooms. You yes, know, so. there's, there's and roses. Roses still bloom up to October, into October. Um, so there's just a, a variety of things you can bring. Um, hosta leaves, it might be a little past prime, but you know, it's, it depends on the weather. So well, you and there's, have hostas. there's um, sunflowers. Oh yeah. There's asters that right. grow well in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, and your grasses. And there's several um, container plant categories. Right. So if you have things on your patio, those would be um, probably you, looking good right. by now. Now this was a container that won a, a top prize, and that's lavender in a that, container. That was a beautiful, it was just beautiful specimen. beautiful lavender. So anything you have in your in your ho home or in your garden that's in a container, mm -hmm. you know, just have to look at the schedule. We have the schedule on the website to, and to see what the rules are, but all these containers, you know, can be entered. Um, and there's so many different interesting plants. Oh, yeah. You get to learn about plants that you might not have known about, mm -hmm. and maybe you think that would be perfect for your home or mm -hmm. your garden. Say, I'd like to have that, right? Because there's some wonderful plants there. Oh. And then we also have design. Yes. So the design section is just for um, garden club members, basically. That's true because you, you need to know how to put these together. But they're not that difficult. I mean, there, there's a tray design. Um, well, these are some that. cute examples. These are some cute examples. So they're just a functional little tray, and I think we have this class in this show. We do. So uh, you just need a little uh, design there, and then some dishes, and just a functional tray that you can pick up and move. It should be stable when you mm -hmm. move it. Mm -hmm. And then we also have table designs. This is called um, ex uh, exhibition tables. Exhibition. Yes. The word couldn't come out. <laughs> exhibition tables. That means they're not really functional because you can't eat with a plate sitting up straight. But these are um, exhibition tables that use elements of uh, t what you'd use on a table. It uses those elements in an artistic way rather mm -hmm. than functional, which right. is what you see here. Right. And so they can be just, these are with backgrounds, and now that background is just a, a round ring, but uh, some All of, different it's called themes. a frame. Uh -huh. frame. This is a frame, and you can see that frame lifts up your design at the top and gives you just more area. Gives It covers the space and covers that's available. Your, and your, your, um, your rhythm goes all around. And then this is another um, with a frame, a little different frame. And then there's backgrounds that you mm -hmm. can put in the back so that your um, design is... is um, shows it off. It shows better. it off, right. It really does. And then these are more tables. This is a little round table we had one year. <laughs> that was a very creative one where she yes. built all her own little square boxes yes. for backgrounds. And then this was a fun one. This was that was just, Night on the Town. Yeah. So you can see it was a Mardi Gras theme. Mm -hmm. And then this one, I think 
Onassis. I forget what the name of that one was, but or what the class Wasn't it, was. Um, Jackie Onassis or that something. It could have been something like Jackie <laughs> Jackie Kennedy or something like yes, that. Yes, it was yeah. very formal. Yeah, a formal one. Um, but you can just do a lot with your the dishes you have around and the things you have around, you know, the house. This one is underwater. Now, we do have an underwater design in the we show do. this year, and everybody seems very intimidated. How do I get my plants to stay underwater? But this one, you can see the, the, uh, the plant under the water. And this one, one of those um, blooms is under the water. They don't all have to they be under the water. They don't all have to be. Just some under the water. And then um, this was two containers with, mm -hmm. with um, plants. So this was like a, almost like a stretch design with the underwater. And you can see that the background really elevates the, the designs. It gives it a good accent mm -hmm. too. And then this is a very simple one, but it's you know it's got good rhythm and and good proportion. So and the colors are really the pretty. Colors really pop on the yellow background. Mm -hmm. So and then we have a, an, another <laughs> design at class that's that was so just, creative. That's open to um, any type of design. Exploration of Exploration design. Exploration of design. Mm -hmm. So you, this was just a very creative design using very creative things like. Um, dryer vent. Dryer vents, <laughs> and you know she's got some gutter screen, gutter screen kind of she wound cut around, around yeah, yeah. and put her flowers on. Then this one was a um, called a transparency, where you see through something mm -hmm. and see the design through something. So <laughs> there's a lot of different designs you could put into that um, into that uh, class. And again, the background really shows it yes, off. It does. With, a, with a plain background, you wouldn't see all the elements right. as well. Right, so you have to think about your background, mm -hmm. and you can bring your own background. Yes. And any color you want to show off your designs. And then also we have educational. We do. Now the educational uh, designs this time, are, are uh, exhibits are um, the Master Naturalists mm -hmm. are having a, a design. And they had one in our show before. This was a couple years ago. And then also, um, this was the Daylily, Ozark Hills Daylily Club before they disbanded, they had a, a educational design. So it told all about educational um, elements. So. And that one was so unique because the fact that the daylilies only stay open for a day, mm -hmm. and you can see the number of daylilies oh, the that they harvested yeah. just for this show from that, that specific day. Mm -hmm. And the, the people in that club just had an amazing, beautiful daylilies. The main thing we wanted to talk about is just to come to the show or enter the show. They did have some beautiful uh, daylilies, but the um, a unique setting for, for horticulture and design. It's going to be very different. We've always had our shows here in Bella Vista before, and this time we're going to have it at the college, as we've been saying. And it's in this big hallway with lots of windows and light so that you'll see the true colors of the plants, mm -hmm. which is always uh, a plus, but it's outside the Walmart Auditorium. So there's this really open space with high ceilings, mm -hmm. and I think it'll really add to the feeling of, of, of autumn memories when you see mm -hmm. the themes that are in each of the classes do relate to uh, fall colors, falling leaves, um, craft fairs, things like that, that go on around here yeah. at that time of year. All years. relate to the fall. Right. Now, in conjunction with the flower show, we are having the Northwest District meeting of the uh, Arkansas Federation of Garden Clubs. So that's going to be held in the Walmart room. Yes. And then this is going to be in the lobby outside. So it's like a two for one event. <laughs> but, um, but you would need to be a member of the AFGC to attend the, the Northwest District meeting. But uh, that would be going on at the same time. Um, the other thing um, that people ask about, of course, we do, we do provide the containers yes. for, the, for the specimens of mm -hmm. horticulture, so they don't have to worry about that. But you do want to read that schedule. The schedule is like the Bible you have to follow. Um, and that is listed on our web page on bellavistagardenclub.com. And it's also listed on another website. It's nwdistrictafgc.com, and that has all the information about the show and about the meeting. So you can, you can go to either one of those websites and find your schedule, find the information. Mm -hmm. So 
will be in real good shape. And we do have um, a lot of the classes are still open. Mm -hmm. uh, we really do encourage anyone that's interested at all to go online and if you have any questions, um, I'm always able to answer them if I can or I'll get Jerry to right. help me because we've been through a lot of these shows together. But it's really a lot of fun and I think you'll enjoy it if you do venture out. It makes people a little nervous, oh mine won't be the best. Well, sometimes it's the best and you just don't know that. That's right. um, we've had designs where maybe something broke and we had to kind of put everything kind of back together at the mm -hmm. last minute. Sometimes even those are the blue ribbon winners. So right. you really don't know until you try and we just really encourage you to make the effort and be a part of the show and mm -hmm. come and have a lot of fun. It's mm -hmm. it's going to be a really interesting experience. Yeah, we did have one blue ribbon winner. I think her design fell over in the car. <laughs> and then when she got there, she had to put it back together and she still won a blue ribbon. So, um, but, you know, the ribbons aren't the important thing. The important thing is that you're, you know, uh, contributing to this wonderful flower show and not everyone can be a winner but sometimes all four in a category there's categories of four sometimes all four in that category are blue ribbon winners they're all and then the 90. judges yeah. you know yeah. have to you know point score you know and try to pick you know be picky about them so some of our shows are kind of hard to judge these judges have a hard time because it's some of them are just so good they don't know which one should be first second <laughs> third or fourth so they could all be first and we've but. been very fortunate in the past we've had I believe this would be five consecutive uh, blue ribbon winning shows overall I You're think not, we've already had five I think it is yeah, five this would already be, if we get a, a <laughs> national award uh, an award for this show it would be six six uh, in a row so, so that's very special get, and yeah and our judge, the judges love to judge our shows. They just, because it usually it's so innovative and, and the staging is always beautiful. <laughs> you do such beautiful things with staging just to, to get you in the mood for, oh, you know, yes. what you're going to see and all the signage and everything. We brought so. in a canoe one time. Oh, one time, yes. We had a canoe with, with designs in them. I mean, Jerry won't let me do that no, this no, time. No, so. no canoes this time. But we do have a bicycle, I think, That's coming true. in with yeah. a little staging. We have lots of interesting staging. Mm -hmm. It's part of the show. Right. So it's, it's going to be a fun show. So, but the main thing also we want to talk about is things to do in your garden for September. Um, there's not a whole lot, but you still can't just turn it off. You know, you have to still do some things. Um, the annuals um, and uh, and herbs, you know, you should be deadheading your annuals. If they look kind of, you know, leggy, maybe take them out. There's still more things available at the nurseries now. You know, you're starting to get your snapdragons and your um, dusty miller, things like that will kind of... And even pansies that yeah, will pansies last will in start. the cold weather. It's a little hot yet for pansies yes. to be planted, but, early. you know, think about switching out for the, the fall or uh, more cool season uh, annuals. And then the perennials, uh, you want to deadhead your perennials. And this is a good time to divide them. It really is a better time than if you wait until spring. Mm -hmm. In the spring when you divide them, it kind of looks like you've just gone through and ripped your garden up a little. <laughs> but this time of year, if you take them out while well, they're good and healthy, they've got good root systems, you can put them in while it's going to be starting to be cooler weather, a little more rainfall perhaps, although we've had a lot this summer yeah, we and have we've been had very fortunate there. Yeah. But dividing like your iris and peonies especially, mm -hmm. those are really good to do now and it's a good time to plant anything that you want to relocate in your garden and let them get a little head start before the right because the winter weather. time they're you know they're developing their root system so then then they can take that heat in this in the summer. So, and we haven't had too many Japanese beetles. I haven't had no. very many. Uh, I haven't talked to too many people that have had them on their roses, but they should be gone by now. By September, they're usually gone. But just keep deadheading and checking for your black spot. And uh, stop your fertilizing in early September. It's really too late after the early September to fertilize. So if you encourage blooms and then we get an early frost, it could yeah. damage them. Yeah. So, And then the lawns keep it. They need at least an inch a week water on your lawns, even with this hot. We have hot weather in September here. It's supposed to be. Yeah. And um, it's a, September is a good time to reseed your fescue lawns, get your reseeding out there. Um, but um, And they said freezing seeds a few days or so before you um, spread them. It does help the germination. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that's what mm -hmm. I had heard from one source, but you can try that. And um, apply your 
pre-emergence uh, herbicides too to control winter weeds. So, and if you're going to be doing any tree planting, um, this is going mm -hmm. to be a good time later in September, early October, mm -hmm. when the weather cools off. Is it is helps not zap the energy with those leaves trying to get reestablished. Right. And then remember to replenish the mulch around your trees and shrubs, but not right up against the bark. Yeah. Leave, leave a small space um, for aeration so they don't get mildew around the base. Right, and it also encourages bugs to you yes. know, crawl up the, yes. stem, the trunks and all that. So just kind of leave a little area for the tree. Let them breathe. Let them breathe a little <laughs> bit. Um, and then vegetables, we're going to probably um, get start planting your cool weather vegetables. You know, turnips, mustard, spinach, lettuce, uh, radishes. You can plant them till mid-September and have a nice crop in the fall. And um, But you want to also control your diseases in your um, vegetable garden and get it ready for the spring. If you're not going to do a fall planting, you know, just get it cleaned up, remove the old stems, and maybe put a winter crop over it to keep it uh, down. And if you pull out your tomato plants, you just want to put them in the trash. You don't want to compost them because they sometimes carry that, um, disease. that disease on their lower leaves. Yeah. So, um, but don't forget to rotate your crops too. So if you've planted tomatoes in, in a spot this year, you'd want to put them somewhere else next year and just Definitely. rotate. So. And if you have any invasive plants, uh, this is a good time to spray them you can use 20% uh, horticultural vinegar, mm -hmm. which is a natural spray. You may have to repeat the spraying, uh, but that will do it. And of course, pulling them doesn't hurt. Yeah. But if any of you have an autumn clematis, they're beautiful in bloom mm -hmm. right now. But when they do set seed, you need to have that cut down and all of those little seeds put in the garbage oh, because yeah. they will spread all over. The They're <laughs> almost can, almost considered an invasive plant now. They They're really beautiful, are. but they can just take over. And um, we actually talked about it at our master gardener meeting that some of the clematis, you know, people are just trying to discourage planting it because it, it just can take over. It's the, beautiful, the but it's variety is really in the most aggressive. Right. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have any other questions you can um, about gardening in September, you can go to the Benton County um, website for the Master Gardeners. <coughs> Excuse me, it's bentoncountygardening.org, and it's just filled with a lot of gardening information. So if it's too hot to work out in your garden in September, you can go <laughs> online and get more information. And then, of course, the Bella Vista Garden Club has a great website with a lot of information on it. And um, our meeting next... Uh, uh, this month is going to be Wednesday, October 23rd, the fourth Wednesday. <clears throat> and we have a new time this year for our meetings. I have to remind everybody it's going to be 9.30 in the morning for special uh, social time. And then the meeting will start at 10. And we have pastries and juice and, and that in the morning. No, we don't have a lunch anymore, just the pastries. And then um, it's at the Bella Vista Community Church on yep. Lancashire. We haven't changed the location, just the time. And we're trying something new. It's always good to change and try new things. Well, and that gives people the opportunity to get out in their garden that afternoon. Oh, yeah, so right. whatever you learn at the meeting, you can right. take right home and that's get right. busy. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And uh, this meeting, we will be awarding our Bella Vista um, Garden Club Dorothy Wallace Scholarships. Mm -hmm. We have two young men. And I believe they're from the U of A. Mm -hmm. and. Um, we were so fortunate to make so much uh, profit from our garden party this past year that we can now give another two scholarships of $4,000 each to these students. So as the college um, costs go up and up and up, these scholarships are so important to, to the uh, students. They really are. So. Anyway, that's uh, what we're having at the meeting, and guests are always welcome. Absolutely. We love to have guests at our, our garden club and, and share our information that we want to share. So thank you, Linda, for joining me today. Well, thank you, Jen. And I want to, we hope to spread the word about our flower show. It's going to be wonderful. And it's something that uh, everyone should attend. Please and just, come and um, please see enter the, if you yeah. can beautiful flowers and you can see what thrives here and say oh I'd like to have that in my garden so that's a good good learning experience so and I hope you've enjoyed the show and we'll return next month and until then don't forget to stop and smell the roses